Hey, what's going on? It's King with House and Knock. Um, I'm going to show you all this continuation of a project we've been working on. Uh, this is the E66. So this is a uh, 2006 BMW 750. Uh, we've done a couple projects on here. Um, repairing the uh, soft closed doors, repairing the front window regulator, um, repairing the trunk, the auto lift, uh, things like that. So the next thing we're doing on this vehicle is, and I haven't found a lot of videos online for it, I haven't found any videos online that show you how to do it, but we are replacing the rear window sunshade, um, which is this mechanism right here. So this is an automatic sunshade that blocks the rear window. Uh, push of a button, comes up, uh, shades out the rear window. As you can see, they have some on the doors also. These have to be replaced too on this model, or this one in particular. <coughs> so I'll show you how to do that. Uh, I've already pulled some of it apart, so I'll just have to uh, go over what we've already done. I kind of put things back in place just to kind of show you all where things are at. Um, that way, it's easy and there's some reference of how to do it because there's no videos online I've seen. Uh, so the first things first, this is actually bolted in the, to the rear cover. So the rear deck lid cover here, the rear dash up here I've already kind of removed. Well, these pieces right here is where the third brake light and the speaker housings are. That was pretty much disintegrated out. So it was really nothing there. Uh, this is a new piece, so you know what it looks like. This is the piece that goes there. Um, so basically, to get this part out, you have to remove the seats. You have to remove the C-pillars, um, the C-pillar trim on the interior, and you have to go in the trunk. So we'll go in the trunk first. Um, right here, there's three 10-millimeter bolts, um, and then there's one torque sorry there's a torque right here let me move their picture out of the way there's a torque right here and three 10 millimeter bolts now where those go is the torque goes in the middle of this housing right here um, and this right here plugs in to the center right here in the trunk so this is the rear deck lid or I'm sorry this is the roof of the trunk here this is where that plugs in um, and that center screw goes right here so this piece will be up here like this you take that center screw out you unplug this move it to the side and then there's one of the 10 millimeter bolts is going to be right here the other 10 mil is going to be right here in this corner and the other 10 mil is going to be in this corner right here and those screw up to the bottom of this cover so you have to take those out first um, then the next thing you want to do is you want to come into the car and you need to remove your rear seat. Now, as you can see, I've already removed it and I just kind of placed it back here for you to see. So to remove the rear seat, you want to grab towards the center, but on the passenger side and on the driver's side kind of in the middle of each side of it about right here and just lift up on it once you lift up on it it'll snap out of place and then you can pull it forward uh, you will need once you get that out of the way so the rear seats out of the way the bottom part uh, the second step to this is to go under the seats here you can see these little tabs here there's four two on each seat there's 10 millimeter bolts on them. Take those bolts off and then you need to slide the bottom of the seat forward and then lift the seat straight up. Uh, once you have to lift it up, be careful. Uh, sorry, I have these pieces already taken off. There's a plug on the back of the seat right here. So you're gonna have to unplug that seat um, and then lift it out of the way. Now let me get this one out of the way. Uh, once you get that seat out of the way, come back. The next step is to pull this piece off here. Now this piece has metal studs on it. Um, you can see them right there. 
and they press into that piece there. So this piece will just snap, snap out with a trim tool. Um, you don't have to take it all the way out. I don't. I just leave it here. Just loosen up the seat belt a little bit. And it should be able to just stay, stay in place. Um, the center console, you just lean it down. And this piece will just pop out. And once this piece pops out, that's all you need to do with the center console. Now, there's bolts, four bolts. You can see them, the studs here underneath. I've got this already kind of pulled out to take this off. But before you take that off, you need to remove the inner trim where your door seals are and then the upper one. So there's one on the floor you have to remove first and then you come up and remove this one. I've already had this one taken off. Um, also be careful when you pull this off. There is a plug at the top there. Um, you can see the plug right back there. So you need to pull it off first, then unplug it. It's a lot easier to take it off if you pull this um, weather strip off, and then you can pull this piece off. Um, but uh, let me back up a few steps. Before you pull that piece off, you need to pull the C-pillar off. Sorry about that, I forgot that. Um, the C-pillar is held in place by a torque um, and what you have to do, let me pull it down to show you, I already have it off. Um, so this is two pieces and it's sitting on the C pillar like this. And there's an airbag symbol here. So you have to pop that out. There's a Torx bit under that, you take it out. I think it's a T20. Once you take that out, you can pry this off from under here and it has these little snaps in it and it'll pop right out. Um, there's also snaps at the top of it. You can see it there. Um, this one here. And once you pop this off, you'll be left with this piece. Now, this piece will be sitting like this. And this piece has a couple of... Let's see if I can grab one for you. couple of these pop rivets in on the top side of it you have to pop those out you will have to slide this curtain airbag out of the way to get one of them out um, and once you get those out there's two there the one at the back you don't have to pull out it will just slide forward and come out uh, and there's one snap at the top on the back here it is right here so once you pry this out just pull it straight forward it will snap out you'll have both of these pieces out once you have both of these out, you can pull this bottom piece out. So let me get these out of the way. Uh, once you've done that on both sides and you've taken all the bolts out, you need to take the speakers out. They sit right here. There's only three bolts on the top of it. You pull those three bolts out, lift them straight up, they will come out. Once you get that out, this you will need to lift up and pull out. Um, it's kind of hard to pull out. It's kind of tucked off in there really hard, but you give it a little effort, it will pull straight out. Uh, you may have to stick your hand on it to get it over some of the mounts. Um, and let me show you what I'm talking about those mounts there that stick up so you have to stick your hand under there uh, to be able to get it out of there um, this also has a plug underneath which goes to the um, the cover the shade cover which is this purple one right here and then it has another one right there that white one in the back that goes to the third brake light so you'll have to unplug those as you pull it out um, the third brake light will snap out of here unplug the plug on it and then you have access to the rest show you why you can't get it out without taking those three 10 mils I told you about um, these three right here that go there there and there on that back deck out is this is where those go into so they screw onto the three metal plates you see there 
there you go all three the three metal plates here on this cover so without taking those out you will not get this out um, one thing I've learned on doing this is these rear bolts here so there's one two three four five in the rear five in the front the ones on the rear you can just loosen them so if you can see I don't know if you can see in there if you can see in there this piece is slotted so right on the back side you can see it's slotted so you can just loosen those back ones without taking it out the front ones you need to take out and it'll just slide right out um, another correction is let me go back to the other one so you can see uh, the little screws here that hold the cover on place uh, those are actually six millimeters not ten so they're six number six torques I mean so they're number six torques to get those out so you're probably gonna have to get a micro kit to be able to get those out um, most regular torque kits only go down to about eight ten or eight so you're gonna need a number six to pull those out putting this uh, rear sunshade back in uh, one thing I did learn on this if you're doing one of these without this uh, cover attached to it so mine didn't have this so when I replaced it you do need to plug it into the car this piece here before you attach it to this um, and let it out so hit the button to make it go up and then install it when it's up so once it's up you can slide it through um, this crease here through this hole and install it um, once you got it screwed in from the bottom you can take this piece and screw this piece to the top of it and then plug it back into the car hold it level like this hold it parallel or horizontal I mean and then hit the button and it'll go back down and it'll go into place and then you can adjust this piece just push it to get it lined up um, it will go up and down straight once you get it lined up but if you're if you have it leaning down at an angle it will not open right so make sure you leave it horizontal when you try to open it um, so we got this put together so now we're gonna slide it in the back and go ahead and install it so there you go you got that piece slid up and into place <laughs> It's all plugged in. Uh, we can test the operation. Seems to work right. Um, so now we'll put the third brake light back in, plug it in, put the speakers in, plug them in, um, and start putting this panel back in. Um, so there's some bolts. Make sure these wires are out because these are going to these are going to snap to these side pieces that go here, they're lights. The bolts here will snap this on place um, so we can put these bolts in. This trim panel can go in right here, which will just snap up here. Uh, once we get the speakers in, we'll go ahead and snap this in. Uh, that will just go up like that. We'll put the seat belt trim back in that hole, uh, feed the seat belt through it. Um, and then we'll start putting these uh, side covers back up. Uh, so, got the speaker grills in. Um, next step, we'll go to the trunk. We'll screw this piece down from underneath, get those bottom bolts back in, and then we'll start putting up these side pieces before we put this trim on because it clips right here. Um, so, then we can stick in these anchors also. So, That'll be the next step. Um, let's go to the trunk. In the trunk, you have these three bolts here, and they screw up right here. So that's one. That's two. And the third one is over here. And that's what actually holds uh, the sunshade in and stable. Um, I'm going to go ahead and tighten those up.
10 millimeter. So we'll go ahead and tighten these up. I'm sorry, that's actually an eight millimeter, uh, not a 10. So I'll tighten those up and then I'll be back. And there you go. That whole bottom side is put up. Um, and now we are back to the inside of the core. So. I'll start putting these trim panels on now. Uh, so now we're gonna start putting this upper trim in. I try to keep my hands clean when I do this. This customer's was already dirty. Um, but there's a pen on the back. As you can see it down here. This will just slide on top of that pen like that. Sorry. I don't know if you can see that. It'll just slide on and lock. And then the holes on the top here, there's some plastic pop rivets that will pin that right there. I don't know if you can see that. Let's see if I can get a light on. Nope. But yeah, it pops on. There's one rivet behind it right here at the top that will go into that hole. So just make sure you have it inside this trim here. And then line it up and it just snaps right in place. And that will sit just like that. Um, this other trim piece right here is what will go all the way to the back. And it will just, this one has some broken clips on it. Uh, but normally it clips back there. It clips right here in the middle. And then there's a screw that holds it on the top. And then it has these bottom clips right here. You can see there's a few of them right here. And they snap it into this piece. But make sure you clip this piece in on the top up here behind this airbag before you put this in. And then there was a screw that goes right here that will screw it here. Um, and that piece will be on and this whole side will be finished and we'll move down to these. So. Oh, forgot to mention there is one more screw right here. One more torque that goes into this piece before uh, you put this other piece on. So there we go, that's finished. Once you get that in, just pop the airbag symbol back up there and then we can move on to this lower piece. Um, I'll do the other side and then I will put the third brake light in and then I'll be back. There you go, both sides intact. Third brake light is in. Let's see if I can see it from the other side. Um, so now I'll put those anchors in. The ones that sit right there on top. Um, and then we'll start, start with these side pieces and get this popped in. Now, these do have a certain way they go. This metal bracket faces you when they go in. If you look at the bottom, there's a curve at the top. That curve faces the back glass. Um, and you actually have to have this open to get the screw in but once you get it in it's a T40 you can actually do the T40 through the hole um, and just hand start it make sure you don't cross thread it and then torque it down after that Um, these pieces here, they have a little tab right here that just pops out of the back. That way you can slide the seat belt in. Once you get the seat belt in, you just snap this back in place. And that just holds the seat belt. There's a plug for this light on the other side, which goes to these. So make sure you still have those uh, visible when you do it. Um, and those go right in. And there you go. That's in. We'll get the other side. There's two plastic nuts that go here and here to tighten that side on. Once you get it on, then you can put this bottom piece on and then we're ready to put the seats in. And there is our back all put together. So as you can see, little plastic nuts here. Um, everything's back installed on the deck. 
So the only thing left to do is start putting the seats back in. Uh, before we put these seats in, let me move this out of the way. First thing we want to do, I actually need to pull these out. These didn't come out. Uh, those snap onto this piece to snap this piece back in place and then we'll slide our seats in. So when you get to this bottom piece, you have some tabs here. You need to lift the front of this up like that and slide it underneath and lock it in. And then you can see the tabs from here and the holes where they line up. So all you need to do is line them up from there and then press it down. Now the seats do have these tabs on the back right here on the top. Those tabs slide into these. So you need to lift it up, push it back and then slide it down. Uh, make sure you plug in the module on the back. Uh, there's another plug for the one on the other side. Make sure those are plugged in uh, before you do it. Um, this one has three plugs here. Whoops. This one has one, two, three, four plugs, which will be right here. So there you go. Seats in place. Don't forget to put the bolts on the bottom. Um, and then we can put the bottom of the seat in. The bottom of the seat also has an outlet here, a plug that goes into it and it just snaps in place and then we're done. So I'll snap this back seat on and then that's a wrap.